we just booted up the top switch and connected the console port to our laptop. The first step we're going to take is, let's take a look at which modules are installed in the switch. You can do this with the show module command. As you can see in slot A, we have a 2 port 10 gigabit SFP plus module installed. In the stacking slot, we have a 2 port stacking module installed. Let's take a look at the status of the stacking. You can do this with the show stacking command. As you can see, stacking is disabled. This can mean two things. Either this switch has been booted once without a stacking module installed and then stacking is automatically disabled. Or it means that somebody manually disabled stacking in the configuration. In this case, this switch has been booted once without a stacking module installed. Normally, when you receive a 2920 switch from the HP factory and you install the stacking module before you booted it the first time, stacking will be automatically enabled to make sure that everybody can install stack very easy. In this demonstration, we want to go through the commands and through the deterministic mode in creating a stack so that everybody understands how the stack is created and which commands are used. So let's go into the configuration mode. And let's enable stacking. Normally if you have the stacking command and stacking is enabled, you have a lot of options. In this case, you only have the option to enable stacking. If I press enter, it will ask me to save the configuration. And after I say yes, the switch will go into immediate reboot. You see, before I press yes here, I want to make sure that everybody understands that this video is a showing the real boot time. So if you want to go to the next step, you need to forward the video. Let's reboot the switch. As you can see, the switch is now booted. Let's go into the console mode again. Let's type show stacking to see what happened. Oh, as you can see, stacking is now enabled. There's still no stacking ID, but we will look at that configuration very soon. There is a MAC address and there is one member ID and that's himself. And this is also the commander and it has the default priority 128. So let's go into configuration mode and now let's take a look at the stacking command. Stacking. As you can see, we have much more options now. Since we didn't have a stacking ID and this stacking ID will be used throughout the whole stack, we're going to set the stacking ID. Now take a look at the stacking command. As you can see, stacking ID is set, 
Stacking status is active and stack topology is chained, but we still only have one member. This switch is now status is the commander and we want to configure the switch as always be the commander. So let's take a look how we do that in the configuration command. We go back into the stacking command again. We say member, we say one, this is the member ID and we're going to set the priority. Already set, the default priority is 128. You can configure the priority for one to 255. The higher the number, the higher the priority. So we're going to set this one as 255. Let's take a look at some other options we have in the stacking. We also, if you want to have real control on the stack, we also can pre-provision or pre-configure the members. So let's provision the members and let's take a look what options we have. Okay, I want to have member two, going to add to the stack. And as you can see, I can set the priority, I can remove it, I can shut down it, but I also can configure the type. And the type is going to make sure these are all the product numbers of the different 2920 options. In this, in this case, we're using a 9727A. So let's configure this one. And you can even, if you want to have more control, configure the MAC address. This is what we're not going to do, and we leave it as is. Save the configuration. Yes. And as you can see, the stacking configuration is now configured. The member, is member type 1 is configured, the type and the MAC address. The priority is configured and we even pre-provisioned the member type too. Let's take a look at the stacking status. Okay, now we're going to boot up the bottom switch and connect to the console cable. The bottom switch is booted and let's take a look first at which modules are installed in the switch. As you can see in slot A there is not a 10 gigabit SFP plot module installed but there is now a 10 gigabit copper module installed and in the stacking module there is a two port stacking module installed. So let's take a look at the stacking status. Stacking is disabled also on on this switch. So what are we going to do on this switch is just enable stacking when we go into configuration mode and we only connect one stacking cable, not the second one yet. So only one stacking cable. So let's go into the configuration mode. Stacking, and if everything is correct, we only have the option to enable it. So we're going to enable and then we're also going to reboot the switch. Again, we're going to show you the full reboot. So if you want to go to the next step, just forward the video.
as you can see the booting took a little bit longer but it had to initialize the stack set up the stack and as you can see now press any key to connect to the commander so if i press let's take a look at what the current stacking status is as you can see we have a chain topology why because we only connected one cable but as you can see the stack status is active i have one member that's my commander with a high priority and the second member got the default standby if we do a show run as you can see there is only one configuration and i'm connected still to the bottom switch and you can also see uh, the port numbers how you can reach the port stack number one port one or stack number two port two so let's take a look if we create a ring configuration so i'm now going to connect to the back of the switch the second cable let's see what happened it is initializing the ports on the back and let's do a show stacking as you can see it automatically de detected that we now have a ring topology and this gives you more resiliency more redundancy this is my end of my, my demonstration. I wanted to thank you for watching 